So which of these elements here, carbon or oxygen, has the greater value for electronegativity? Here's how you figure that out the quick way. On a periodic table, find fluorine. And whichever element is closer to fluorine, that's going to have the higher value for electronegativity. That's because when we look at the trend, as we go towards fluorine, as we go across these periods here, electronegativity increases. As we go up groups, like this, we go up towards fluorine, electronegativity values increase as well. Same here, as we go up, they increase. So if you know that fluorine is the most electronegative element, whatever is closest to fluorine is going to be more electronegative. So oxygen right here is right next door to fluorine. Carbon, it's over here. It's not too far away, but oxygen is closer. So oxygen is going to be more electronegative or have a higher value, you could say, in electronegativity than fluorine. It's 3.44 as opposed to carbon 2.55. If we took and said 3.44 minus 2.55, we end up with 0 0.89. That's the difference in electronegativity. What that means is when we have carbon and hydrogen, when they form a chemical bond, it's considered to be a covalent bond. This is less than 2.0. So when we have this value for electronegativity difference less than 2.0, this is going to be a covalent bond. And the electrons, they're going to be shared between the carbon and the oxygen. So that's it. Oxygen has a higher value of electronegativity than carbon, and you know that it's closer to fluorine here. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.